Hey, you. Did you hear something? Uh huh. It came from this area. This is different. Yeah. Right. Different. I just see gray. <laughs> Are you not getting this? It's colors with black and white. There's no gray area in nutrition. Remember, you are what you eat. Look at that hamburger. It makes my mouth water. Yeah, I see it. Kind of looks like he's throwing it in his mouth. Well, I love a hamburger. I even like to add cheese and pineapples to mine and make it a Hawaiian burger. Hmm, does that remind you of anything? Well, it is grains, proteins, and veggies. <gasps> My plate! But I heard that hamburgers can have a lot of fat. Yeah, it has fat, but it tastes oh so good. I know, right? I could eat one every day. Me too, but wouldn't that be a lot of fat? We should probably limit that. Oh, look, french fries. Fries go great with hamburgers. Absolutely, fries go great with hamburgers, but they can have a lot of fat too. So, we need to watch how much we eat. Dang it. You are what you eat. You see how big that mouth is, Ash? It's massive. Kind of reminds me of yours. Hey! <laughs> that big mouth must symbolize eating. What we put in our mouth to eat, good or bad, is going to affect our health. It says here that we can make smart food choices by reading the nutrition facts label. Oh, let's push the button and learn more about it. The nutrition facts label is included on the food we buy to guide us in making smart food choices. Number one, always start here and look at your serving size first. Pay attention to this amount and how many servings are in a food package or container. A large bag of chips could be 15 to 20 servings. This bag has how many servings? Ashley, did you eat half the bag already? Number two. Calories are the total units of energy you get from one serving of a food or drink. Calories, huh? Yeah, that's the energy you get from food to move and to be active. Number three. These are the nutrients you want to limit. They are saturated fat, trans fat, cholesterol, sodium, and added sugar. This helps prevent heart disease, high blood pressure, diabetes, and some types of cancer. Wow. Number four, you want to get enough of these nutrients. Dietary fiber, vitamin D, calcium, iron, and potassium help support your overall health. Number five is the quick guide to percent daily value, which is a footnote at the bottom of each nutrition facts label. It reminds you that percent daily value is based on a 2000 calorie diet per day. So in a nutshell, to be able to make the best food choices, we should always, always read the nutrition facts label. And according to this label, Ashley, you ate nine servings of chips in five minutes. Accurate. Okay, but on the front, at least it says low sodium. Yeah, but the facts are on the back. My mama said, don't let the claims on the front of a package fool us. Things like low sodium or no cholesterol in food that never had any cholesterol to begin with might not tell us the whole story. So we need to look to the nutrition facts label to find the truth. It also says here that ingredients are listed from highest to lowest amount. In addition, an ingredient list that is longer than two or three lines might mean the food is highly processed. Wow, so much great information on such a small label. But my Hawaiian burger didn't have a label. But I remember the fast food restaurant had nutritional information on their menu board. You want fries with that? It's there. We just have to look for it. Mm -hmm.